There are four left-turning tendencies associated with an aircraft. P-factor, torque effect, spiraling slipstream, and gyroscopic precession. In this video, I will discuss in detail all four of these left-turning tendencies. Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery. Today I want to go over the four left-turning tendencies of an airplane. The first thing I wanted to discuss was P-factor, which is associated with a propeller here. And as you can see here, there is an angle of attack relative to the wind of approximately 15 degrees. And as this propeller rotates clockwise relative to the perspective of sitting in the cockpit, um, it takes a bite of air. On this side, the ascending prop, again, you can see an angle of attack, approximately about 15 degrees. And again, it takes a bite of air. In level flight, the angle of attack of this propeller versus the other side is equal, so we have even thrust. But as this aircraft's climbing up, what we see happen is this angle of attack gets shallower. This propeller kind of works its way inwards, if you will. Um, and on this side, relative to the angle of attack, the propeller gets further away or a wider angle of attack, and we get an uneven amount of thrust um, on the descending prop versus the ascending one. And that uneven thrust winds up causing the plane to turn left. Why? Because this side is taking a bigger bite of air than this side, relative to the air coming across it. And so with more work, more thrust on this side, what happens is the plane turns left. And we counter that uh, thrust um, in balance by applying right rudder so the aircraft doesn't turn right. We particularly notice this again at slow speeds, high angle of attack, uh, with maximum power being applied. The second reason why the plane turns to the left is due to the torque effect. And what's happening here is this propeller blade is turning clockwise relative to the perspective of sitting in the cockpit. The fuselage wants to turn counterclockwise or roll to the left. And again, we counteract that um, torque effect by applying a little bit of right rudder and a little bit of right aileron to stop that uh, torque effect movement. Uh, this torque effect is due to Newton's third law of physics. Uh, basically, for every uh, force, uh, there's equal and opposite force in the opposite direction. The third left turning tendency is due to the spiral slipstream. Basically, as this propeller turns clockwise relative to the cockpit, an airstream swirls around the fuselage and works its way toward the back of the plane. And based on slower speeds, like during a takeoff, that wind winds up hitting the left side of the vertical stabilizer or rudder. And that causes the tail to kind of go off to the right and the nose of the airplane to go off to the left. And again, we counter that with, again, right rudder pressure. As we increase in speed or we're high air speed, uh, the way the slipstream or airstream spirals around the aircraft, there's less of a pressure um, being applied on the vertical uh, stabilizer. So it's not such a problem at high airspeed, but at slow airspeed, um, it is a significant issue. And we have to, again, counterbalance it with the right rudder pressure. The last left turning tendency is associated with something called gyroscopic precession, and it's mostly an issue with tail dragger aircraft. And the reason for that is you have to interpret or think about that propeller as a spinning disc. And when a disc is spinning and we apply a force, um, let's say in this direction, straight forward, there is a resulting acting force that actually uh, lags by 90 degrees the rotation, um, in this case to the right in this situation, which causes the nose of the plane to go left. And so we counter that situation again by applying left rudder. Now, why does that happen, uh, particularly on a tailwheel plane? Well, as you can see here, relative to the aircraft, the tail is sitting lower than the main wheels. And on takeoff, we have to get that tail up. And so we go into the cockpit here and we'll see what happens. So inside the cockpit here, we have the stick. When we apply full power, we initially have the stick in a neutral position. 
Then as we're starting to accelerate down the runway, we'll push forward just a little bit in the stick. And what that'll do is cause the tail of the airplane to go up. Well, as we apply um, that forward pressure um, to have the tail go up, it's, it's equivalent of also putting a forward pressure on that disc or propeller out in front of us. The resulting acting force um, is out here to the right, 90 degrees. And what it does is it winds up pushing the plane to the nose of the plane to the left as that tail comes up. So with tail draggers, we have to um, address not only the top three reasons the plane turns left, but also this final one of gyroscopic precession. And again, we resolve that issue by applying a little bit more right rudder pressure right down there. So those are up up the four left turning tendencies of an aircraft. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I come out with another video.